Hello and welcome to this video on government legislation. So let's start off with the word legislation. What does legislation actually mean? Well, if we were to look it up online, we would see that it's the act of making or enacting laws. So what we're talking about here is laws that are created by the government or by some other uh, political organization, for example, the EU, that impact upon um, businesses. So in this video, we're going to look at the impact of laws made by governments on businesses, and we're going to look at five different types of law. Let's start off with consumer protection law. And as you can see on the right hand side, this is really to stop consumers from getting screwed. What types of law do countries typically have? Well, they typically have types of law that protect the consumer from firms with regards to the quality of goods or services sold. So consumer protection laws typically include things like consumer rights, so replacing goods if they're faulty, making sure that goods are fit for purpose, they do as what they're described to do and they're of satisfactory quality. We also have things like trade descriptions acts, which means that goods must be or services must be described in a way that is not misleading. A Consumer Protection Act would mean that businesses are liable for any costs occurred as a result of faulty or damaged products and the prices quoted must be correct and not misleading. So here is a recent example of a business that was guilty of widespread breaches of consumer protection laws. They were not being transparent or fair when showing off prices or the way in which they advertised products. Let's move on to employee protection law. So this is about safeguarding employees' rights in the workplace. And we can break it down into individual employment law and industrial relations law. So typically countries will have um, legislation about the workers within the business. So for example, Equal Pay Act, both sexes should be treated equally at work. Sex Discrimination Act, so people can't be discriminated against based on gender for recruitment, promotion, training or dismissal. It's illegal to discriminate based on colour, that's the Race Relations Act. Disability Discrimination Act, again illegal to discriminate against disabled people. The working time regulations would be a, a, a law here that you cannot work people more than 48 hours a week. And the national minimum wage would be an example of an employment, le employment legislation. So a minimum hourly wage rate introduced, for example, across the UK would be um, an example of individual labour law that would affect businesses. So here's an example of uh, a claim against a university about equal pay. And here's another one at a up against the local council, again, about not paying different genders the same amount of money. Industrial relations law is to do with trade unions um, and trade unions is an organization made up of members and its membership is mainly made up of workers within a particular industry so you might have a teachers union or maybe a car workers union um, and any laws relating to that group of people trade unions we call industrial relations law these would be examples of different uh, unions you might find So we mentioned national minimum wage there, that's an important part of uh, employment legislation. So minimum wage is a, is a pay floor that a business cannot charge below. So for example, in Germany in 2014, a minimum wage was introduced of eight euros 50 per hour. So here are some of the cases for and against a minimum wage. I would suggest pausing the video here, having a read through them, taking a screenshot, sticking them in your notes. Once you've read through them, let's move on. So environmental protection law is another type of uh, legislation that can affect businesses. And this ensures that firms don't have a negative impact on the environment. Again, here are some examples, Environment Protection Act, and Environment Act will have effects on businesses. Here's another recent story of a, a business that fell foul of environmental regulations. 
So we've looked at the first three so far, consumer protection, employee protection, environmental protection. We're now going to move on to competition policy. So competition policies are quite significant for businesses, can affect them quite significantly. So both UK and European competition law prevent, prohibit agreements, arrangements and business practices which prevent, restrict or distort competition or have the intention of doing so. An example would be price fixing. So businesses are not allowed to collude with each other and work together to try and charge a high price for, to customers. So you're not allowed to agree prices with competitors or divide or share up markets. For example, I'll take the north of the city and the other business takes the south of the city. You're not allowed to work with a competitor to determine what prices you'll pay your suppliers. You're also not allowed to use predatory pricing, cut prices below cost in order to force a smaller or weaker competitor out of the market. Another area of competition law that firms are not allowed to breach is abuse of a dominant position. So again, both UK and European competition law prohibit businesses with significant market shares unfairly exploiting their strong market positions. And you're considered to have a, a dominant position if you have a market share of 50% or more. Now this doesn't mean you've broken competition law, it's only if you use that dominance of the market to abuse customers or to distort competition that, that you would be um, found guilty under the law. What might be the penalties for getting caught? Well, businesses can be fined up to 10% of their annual turnover or revenue. So here's an example of two businesses that were fined for price fixing. You can also face criminal prosecution as a worker for a business that engages in activities that are against competition law. So again, here is a story of some workers for a business that were uh, found, uh, taken to court over their breach of competition law. You can be disqualified from being director of a business if you engage in anti-competitive practices. And there can also be civil action taken by those affected. So effectively, you can be sued by customers, for example, if you work with another business to exploit them. OK, another area of law that affects businesses is health and safety regulations. So these, law, uh, these laws tend to protect employees and customers from illness and injury uh, associated with businesses. So Health and Safety at Work Act would be an area of legislation that would affect a business, as would certain regulations. Um, and we can see some examples here. Here again is another news story of a, of a, uh, a business that was found to have breached health and safety regulations and they were fined. So in this, business, uh, in this video, we've looked at the impact of legislation laws set by governments on businesses and we looked at a number of different areas of legislation that can affect businesses consumer protection legislation employee protection legislation environmental legislation importantly competition policy and then at the end health and safety legislation that's it thank you very much for listening